So <coughs> today is going to be fun because uh, I'm actually on my way uh, towards cyclist wardrobe. So I'm going to bring you back shop visit today. So if you all don't know who is cyclist wardrobe, uh, I'm actually at Petaling Jaya now walking towards Palm Spring, which is a pretty cool clubhouse. And there, there is where cyclist wardrobe is located. And also um, I'm going to meet up with Agnes and Agnes told me that she wants to try the Insta360 camera. So I'm going to pass her my Insta360 ONE RS to let her try and see whether she enjoys using it or not. <laughs> Now I want to introduce to you someone amazing, an amazing cyclist as well, an amazing person in the bike industry who apparently just joined the bike industry as well. But before I steal her thunder, I think let her introduce herself. Lah. Hello, so I'm Agnes, I'm from uh, Cyclist for a Job. I think that's it. Lah. <laughs> Today she will be at the Rafa 100, uh, Women's 100 on the 18th. Yeah, 18th of September. Yeah, so I will be there. I hope to see some of you there. Lah. Yeah. She's going to show you, if you've not been to Cyclist for a Job, what they have in the shop so that at least next time you gatal gatal can come and visit lah. <laughs> and if you want to visit then you can look out for Agnes. Okay and go! Or my colleagues, they are very helpful as well. Oh, okay. okay. Like we have Fesca for a custom made bike and this one is a special edition. It's a Fesca and Cyclist Wardrobe special edition. So we will it. You can carry it? Oh yeah, we can carry it down. So it will be easier for you to yeah. see. Yeah, so this is the one. Ooh, look at the colours. This one is another addition. It's, it's the green one, the southern green. As you can see. Yeah. When it's under the sunlight, then it's a like very solemn green. It's a very special colour. So so is this a collaboration between uh, Fesca and Cyclist Wardrobe? Yes. Wow. Because the paint job itself, right, if you were to order yourself, it costs about eight thousand ringgit. Just the, the paint? Yes, just for the paint. It's about 8,000 ringgit. Yeah, so we do have another one version like for the Fesca one. And also, when we talk about custom made frames, we have Fesca and another one will be Sato. After you, what's special? It's only for Because the bikes are not here. So, here as you can see, you can see the blue, right? This one is a blue filament. So, it's actually not the coloring, but it's the filament. Carbon yeah, the carbon. Yes. So it's a very, very unique one. As you can see, they have uh, for red and for green. Yep. Okay, they do custom made carbon bikes and they have their own, they produce their own carbon. Okay. Yeah, means they are not, uh, they don't sub their carbon production to third party. They have their own in house. So basically, for custom made bikes, right, you will come to Cyclist Wardrobe and we have a very experienced bike fitter, which is Daniel. He will help you to do a uh, bike fitting and also measure the geometry and all. Then, after that, we have the geometry we will send to Sato and they will confirm the geometry and give us a proposed geometry. Then after that, you guys, we will discuss with you on all the process and so what colors you like, what geometry you like. Upon confirmation of your geometry and colors and designs, it's about six months waiting time. Okay. So that's about the waiting time uh, for most of the custom made bikes. We have a titanium bike. So titanium bike, we have Cirque. Cirque is a very interesting uh, brand from Australia. However, the production is in China. So we have this circ for those who want to uh, like first wanna like start like wants to get started with a titanium bike, you wanna try something different, then for me the suggestion will be circ. It's a very good value for money like circ. Then after that we have something different, it's mosaic, which is this. It's a custom-made titanium bike as well. I can move it out here so Melvin will be easier to have a look. Oh, okay, right. So mosaic, right, is a titanium bike as well. And what's so special about them is because titanium, their surface is slightly rougher. Hence, you need a special uh, what do you call skills to paint. Ooh. That's why they have their own paint shop. I mean, like yeah, own painter that is very experienced in painting on titanium. Oh, I, I follow their Instagram. Yeah. Very pretty stuff one. Okay. So this one, it's a mosaic. So the titanium bike, we have this one, Sturdy. So Sturdy is a very special brand because it's a fully 3D printed titanium bike. Even the fork, you can have a look, it's a 3D printed fork. And you look at it, it's an art. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, man. The baby king and all, it's an art. Like. This one, it's for my mom the art. So for sturdy, what's so special is because uh, uh, in the market, they might have uh, different other 3D printer bikes as well. Just as sturdy, they use uh, this 3D printing, uh, what do you call that technology called the cold printing. Yeah, so what's the difference is uh, even the Bugatti brake pads, they are using a cold method 3D printing. Hence, this is a very, I would say, quality wise and also, uh, what do you call that? It's the pinnacle of titanium. I would say so. Yeah, 3D printing. So it's a very interesting brand for you to try if you would. Like if you are interested in it. Yeah, so because in the market, uh, rarely you will see a titanium fork. And this is, yes, so this one, the whole 3D printed bike. Uh -huh. yeah. Alright, so for study, the purchasing, what do you call that, uh, uh, process is basically almost the same as the custom made bike. So upon confirmations of your geometry and also the colors and the design that you want, uh, it takes about six months. Alright, so for uh, ready made bikes, we have look. Yes, you can have a look. So this one is uh, look, have a look. Uh, you can have a look at the look. So this one is an uh, Aero series, which is called a seven nine five lit RS. RS is basically the higher end series. That means they have a better carbon, more comfort, and all. So this one is the Aero bike for look. Okay, so now we're gonna check out their wheels. Yeah, so we are actually known for a house of views as well. Melvin, you can like, just shot all the way here. <laughs> you can see a lot of views right here. So basically what we have, we have uh, Korima, Buckington, Smokey, Extra Light, and what else we have? We have quite a lot, we have around 11. Then after that, we have like uh, Lightweight, Bike Ahead, Envy, Campy, Princeton, <laughs> so on and so forth. You can have a look here. So yes, I can show you this sexy little ring. That's my favorite one actually. Oh, look at this. So Kurima for this MCC model, right? It's 100% handmade in France. And what's so special about it, it's one month. Hello. They only can produce 80 pairs worldwide. And also it requires you to be in their factory for two to three years kind of experience. Only you can will be able to produce these wheels. Right. Wait, what, what do you mean two to three years? Uh, two to three years of experience working in oh. the factory. So only the, 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 the senior staff can build yes, this wheel? Yes, the senior staff can do this wheel oh. because it's 100% handmade in France and the precision is very good. Why? It's because they have this thing called aerofoam inside their reef. So it's actually not a hollow ring. It's actually a aerofoam. It's a very solid and also you can see the carbon layer as Melvin zoomed in. It's actually very different from the unit carbon uh, in other uh, wheel set. This one is actually a uh, aero space grade carbon as you can see it on uh, helicopters and everything. Hence, what's different about unidirectional carbon and this is when you go out and cycle, the pressure they can absorb is from you like from different direction oh, okay. instead of one direction. Yes, which is this extra light bird spoke wheel. As you can see, this one right, it's made of fabric. From the name itself, right? What, what, what is fabric? Is it carbon? It's not carbon or what? No, it's a type of uh, material. Material, fabric. 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 Oh, kain. Kain. Yes. Oh. It's not a metal. It's a kain. Wow. Oh. Okay. And so from the name itself, right, extra light. If you want to guess the weight. What's the weight? Just tell me lah. It's sub one. It means wow. it's 970 grams, this thing. <laughs> okay, uh, Zul, Zul, if you're watching this, I know you're looking for very light stuff. This one is below 1 kg. Uh, this Where is it from? It's 100% handmade from Italy. Italy? Italy. Okay. Italy, 970 grams. The, the weight limit? Weight limit is about 90 kg, means about 75 kg to 80 kg uh, kilos riders should be good for this because you have to uh, substitute in the weight of the bike. So next, we have this Schmoke carbon. As you can see, the carbon layout is not the unidirectional carbon as well. They have a very, I would say, weight to stiffness wise, this is the best in the market. Weight to stiffness wise. And then it's from Germany. Germany. Yes, people know their handlebars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's a very really lightweight handlebar, and the weight to stiffness wise is the best you can find in the market. Alright. So this is more of a performance, huh? Yes, performance and light. 
Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 do. So Melvin, do you want to guess the weight of this wheel? I don't guess all the time. Don't guess the weight all the time. <laughs> all right. La. So this thing is 1.3. 1.3 kg. 1.3. For front and back. Uh. Yes, for front and back. All right. So we do have this Princeton's wheels as well from US. It's a very, very unique, very Lang Chai. Lang Chai looks if you put it on your auto handsome. Auto handsome. Yes, auto handsome. So if you are looking for Princeton, you guys can come to Cyclist Wardrobe and have a look. We are called a Cyclist Wardrobe. <laughs> Hence, we have a very big variety for you to choose if you were looking for like helmets, jerseys, bib, and also shoes. Means your apparel, yeah. Cyclist Wardrobe. <laughs> Something that you can get from your wardrobe. So what brands we have as we have, first is a Rafa. Rafa. So, I think most of the cyclists will, will know that Rafa is something like LV and cyclists. Yeah. Okay. Everybody will know this brand. And then after that, we have Petla. This right here. Here. So, Petla is from uh, Australia. And also, I really, I personally really love their long sleeve. Because long sleeve, usually when you wear it in Malaysia's weather, after you sweat, you take it out, it's like very sticky and it's very hard for you to wear it back. However, this Petla jersey, they won't. Uh, I use it and I won't have that kind of feeling. Oh, so it's easy to wear on and off. Huh? Yes, and also they have UV protection on their jerseys for Petla. And Petla is very well known, uh, very lucky in our females rider. <laughs> very lucky in our females rider because right, their seamless beep really makes your leg look slimmer and oh. longer. <laughs> yeah, so it's a slimming beep. <laughs> and then after that, this one is one of my personal uh, go-to brand, which is called Q36.5. So basically, this brand, a lot of you might not have been heard of this brand before. So do you know why the brand's name is called Q36.5? No. Alright, because it's our body temperature. Their products, they aim to keep our body temperature at not means about 36.5 degrees. And also, as you can see closer, their fabric is very different. Can I you feel it? It's very different. So what do you, what's so special about it? They have silk, silver lining, and cashmere inside the fabric. Cashmere. So, so that they can regulate your body temperature. <laughs> cashmere, oh this one sounds like what you know, like a big sheet, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yes, and also one of the best selling bib in our shop is this is their bib. Oh look at that. I personally tried it. Okay, this is only the entry level. I Agnes, I tried the entry level. I already gonna pampered by the entry level. Oh, and wow. then the next one will be this one. So the all, next that I want all to try. Are Q36, huh? Yeah, these are Q36. Okay. So this will be the next one that I want to try. It's called the unique bit. It's unique in the sense that because you can zoom in and you it feels like paper. The compression, oh, nice. the padding. The, the uh, your body temperature regulations, everything is just on point. So, so does it mean that Q36, their focus is on body heat regulation? Uh? Their focus is more on performance. Performance. Yes. Okay. Where is this from? This is from Italy. 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 Alright, so for helmets, we have something you call POC. POC is a brand from Sweden. And also we have HJC and Cask. So POC, what's so special about them is although they are from Sweden, they do have their standard fitting. It's more suitable for Matsale, I would say. It's because uh, for European people, they tend to have a more oval, longer and narrower head. Hence, Asian like me or like us, we tend to have a rounder head. That's why they come out with one is a standard fit, another one will be an Asian fit. Oh, they call so it they a have one fit. Yeah. So if you guys are interested, you can come over and to Cyclist Workshop and our colleague and my colleague is more than willing to uh, guide you on what size you should use. Here we have uh, something from POC. Blitz is a brand. Uh, Melvin knows Blitz very well. So we <laughs> I love Blitz. <laughs> Yeah, so Blitz is from Sweden as Melvin. I think I don't have to explain more. Melvin can do this better than me. And then after that, we have Alba Optics. Alba Optics is actually my first uh, sunglasses when I just started cycling. And I am still using right now. Even, okay, Tashula, I am a very, I, I crashed a few times and I have personally seen it a car went over my sunglasses. I'm like, sick time, we're all mozo, like, get out already. Then after that, I go pick it up. Still can use. Oh, Just that the uh, the lens get chala. That's why I change the lens. But the frame, 
I'm still using it until today. Yes. So this is our bow picks, and after that we do have hundred percent as well. What? What, what is this? Uh, it's so, so weird. Uh, what weird? It's so weird. This is starlight. Style. Fashion, you don't know lah. Like. No, 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 I'm joking. Age, age gap la, age gap la, age gap la. She's too young, she's too young. Chiu lao li ka ye. So this one, right? Actually, our bar optics they kind of change a bit because change the cycling scene a bit because their sunglasses is actually more lifestyleish. And also this one, right? We have one, we have one customers. She really go for like very very long distance and very very jalat rack, you know. And then she loves to use this for her epic rack. I'm like, I also ask her because most of our customer they use it for coffee, right? So I yeah. ask her personally, hey, is it so 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 durable? Because I know our think they produce really good sunglasses. However, this one, right, most of the customer they use it for coffee, right? Just that this particular customer I ask her, she say yes, this is her favorite go-to sunglasses right now. Even when she go for 200 kilometers, she's using this. Yes. Now we have a handlebar from Darimo. Darimo is a like this lah, like this handlebar. After that we have Smoke. As I said just now, Smoke right? It's uh, the width to thickness ratio is the best. And of course we have THM for the handlebar. And we have this uh, absolute black for our OSP W. Yes, and also for the saddle. Okay. All right, and saddle. So saddle, we have Bajon, one of our best selling. It's always out of stock. And why is it out of stock, right? Because it's from Russia. Right now, it's a bit hard to get. <laughs> yes. So we have a Bajon, and it's very sexy, as in. From the side view, right, you can see it's very nippy. Hence, when you put it on your bike, right, your bike looks the geometry and the layout looks so sexy, extra yeah. sexy. Yes. Nice. When I talk about sexy, don't look at my knee. My face is yeah. <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> you can see the bike, you know. Yeah. And then we have uh, Brook. Brook is a brand from Slovenia. Slovenia. Is it called Slovenia? Yeah. Slovenia. Brook. It's another brand that we carry also. Oh, so this is the lightest one that you have? Huh? Yeah. What's the weight for this? This one, shall we measure it later? <laughs> I show it on the wing skills, it's more. Uh, yeah, people, uh, yeah, okay, nice. Let's wait, let's, let's wait. wait, wait. Let's go. Uh -huh. I'm just waiting for you. 80 gram. Hmm. Okay. okay, we have a very. I would say. They are kind of a cyclist related because the brand owner he himself is a cyclist. It's called this. Uh, I can show you. I think I put it one time. It's a bag. They call Freitag. Freitag is actually a brand from Switzerland. So what's so special about them that Cyclist Workshop really like wants to promote them is because as you can see, this all the materials they are an upcycling company. So all of their bags is made of recyclable material. So this one basically is made of a truck top. Truck top. Truck top. Yes, truck top. So Okay, it's the canvas that they wrap around the truck. Yes. Uh, those yeah. Okay. <laughs> truck top. Yeah, truck top. <laughs> and you cannot find anything similar to you in the world. Because all of this is very labor intensive. All of the truck top they have different uh, thickness, hence they cannot use a mass production. And I really like their company's culture is because they could have uh, moved their production out of Switzerland because Switzerland their labor is very expensive. However, they are not doing that. It's because they want to give opportunity to their uh, citizens, to the people there. So they want the the people they want to benefit their people lah. And also one crazy thing about them is because when you recycle the truck up, it's uh, dirty. You need to wash it. Yeah. So they are crazy to the certain that they even build their own water reservoir just to wash their. Uh, Wash the truck up, wash the material they use because they do not want to waste water. So so I think basically this brand is you're buying for the story, the culture and the 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 being go green and environmentally friendly kind of concept, like yes. I guess, right? Talking about reducing the 
the the carbon footprint of human being. So I think that's where fret tech is and something that you're mm. strong in. Strong with lah. Right? Yes, that's why I say made of recyclable material. And you can see this one, this uh, sling back, this straps over here is made of actually your car safety belt. This thing. Yeah. Yes, and also just now, why do I say cycling related? It's because this thing here is made of a bicycle inner tubes. Oh, there you go. Yes, that's why the whole thing is actually made of recyclable items. Mm. This this where a lot of people have uh, this misconception that why are you using recycled things? I mean, recyclable things, and why is recyclable? Why are recycled items when they make it to bags or clothing again or slippers? Why is it so expensive? Is because you must understand that it's always cheaper to dig out raw materials and fabricate things. It's always more expensive to recycle things. Because recycle recycling is about taking back something, sort it, clean it, repurpose it. So the process of recycling is very expensive. So I guess you all have to understand that if you're buying a recyclable goods, it's actually you're doing it for for your children. You're not doing it because it's fashionable. So I guess that's where the concept needs to be changed. Huh? Yes. So I think that's about it for okay, Cyclist so Wardrobe. Thank you uh, Agnes for bringing me around Cyclist Wardrobe. Oh, uh, so it is my bike uh, bike fit up, my bike shop visit there and at least to introduce to all of you what Cyclist Wardrobe have and if it's something that you are looking for, just drop by here and look for Agnes and her gang. Yes, my gang, colleague, gang. they <laughs> are very helpful. Yes, yeah. they know more than me. <laughs> okay, so see you guys. See you. Over the weekend and God bless. Okay. Oh, 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 oh,